Hey guys, welcome back to Flying with Brian. Uh, I'm restoring my 1946 Taylorcraft. It's a BC-12D. And in today's video, I'm going to start applying the fabric to the right wing. So let's get busy. The first step in applying the fabric to the top of the right wing is to lay down a thick coat of adhesive everywhere on the structure where the fabric touches. So I'll make my way around the structure and then I'll do it again with a second coat. Now that I've got two coats of thick adhesive on the wing structure, I've cut a piece of fabric to shape and laid it on top of the wing. And I'm working my way around the perimeter of fabric with thin adhesive, and I'm brushing that around the perimeter to bond the fabric to the uh, base of adhesive that's already on the structure. All right, well, so far we got the uh, fabric glued down to the perimeter of the top of the wing, and now I'm gonna come back and glue uh, around the perimeter of the bottom. Then we're gonna do a little bit of shrinking to kind of tauten it up, get some wrinkles out, and then glue the fabric nice and firmly to this leading edge around the rest of the perimeter. So uh, let's take a look at that um, a little closer up here. So uh, when I finish the top, we flip the wing over and just set it down here on the sawhorses upside down. And I've got this fabric that's folded over the leading edge. Like I said, I'm gonna glue the perimeter of that down. Then we're gonna shrink it some to get it nice and, and smooth on this aluminum and then glue it down nice and, uh, nice and tight to the aluminum. And uh, I've also gotta work the rest of this perimeter. I gotta glue this trailing edge down. Uh, as we get back here to the aileron bay, I'm going to have to make some cutouts around the hinges uh, before we can glue this fabric down to the uh, uh, to the uh, aileron cutout. And we got a little tightening here to do a, a, around the, uh, the wing tip. So that should take a few hours. Hopefully we'll get it done today and uh, we'll see how it goes.
right, well, that was a full day's work. Got all this uh, fabric glued down to the, uh, brought over to the bottom of the wing and glued around the perimeter here. And uh, ready to flip it back over, put a little bit of a shrink on the top fabric, get it, get it taut, and then uh, finish gluing this top fabric down to the perimeter of the structure. And then get ready to glue the bottom fabric on. So we're moving along nicely. Uh, good full day of work. We'll get this wing flipped over and uh, we'll keep going. Let's go this in. Okay. You a little bit. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get some of these wrinkles out with the iron. I kind of did the first setting around 250, 275. I'm just going to shrink this down a little tighter and then we're going to glue down uh, this leading edge fabric, the, the aluminum beneath it. Right, my gas cap uh, for this wing tank is right here under this fabric and you can see it's sticking up slightly uh, I'm gonna use this uh, it's just a wood burning tool to melt the fabric around this rim that'll keep the edges from fraying and get it to sit down on this flange uh, where the adhesive is and that'll keep it in place around this the lip to this tank I'm going to start the, the circle kind of small here and see if it'll slide over because I've still got to shrink the fabric a little bit more uh, two more times at, at warmer temperatures and that'll pull it apart a little bit more so I don't want it the hole to get very big. Let's see what that'll do. Yeah, I'll get it started. It's not laying down perfectly, but a little bit of iron work and some adhesive will get it to sit on the lip of that tank. And there's a flange beneath there with some adhesive on it. I'm going to come with some adhesive on top glued to that flange, now I'll keep it nice and secure around this, the uh, opening of this tank. Alright, now that I've got this shrunk down, uh, I'm going to take some, uh, some adhesive reducer and uh, put it on this rag and I'm just going to gently uh, rub this leading edge where the, where the aluminum sheet metal is under there. That's kind of a trick I learned from the AirTech guys. It'll activate that glue that's beneath there, kind of grab onto this so that when I uh, come in with, with a coat of uh, adhesive over the top of it, it's, uh, it's nice and smooth already and, uh, and the fabric doesn't clump up. So uh, we'll get started with that. All right, now I'm going to take a uh, one coat of thinned adhesive and I'm going to go, um, I'm going to brush that in across this leading edge around here and around the bottom and that'll 
come in through the top of the weave and, and grab down all the way down to the to the glue that's already uh, on the aluminum beneath the weave. Uh, and that'll really lock that fabric down to the leaning edge. Uh, and then when I, once I've got that done, um, all the areas that are going to get a fabric on the bottom uh, are going to get another two coats of the thick adhesive, just like we did when we put this uh, fabric on the top. So I'll draw a line. That fabric on the bottom is going to come around the leaning edge and probably lap to about right here. I'm going to draw a line around there. And then uh, below that line on this leading edge is going to get uh, two additional thick coats. And then <clears throat> the whole perimeter will get uh, the two thick coats. We'll glue that, uh, that bottom fabric on once that's done. So we got the leading edge uh, fabric glued down. Uh, that completes basically the, uh, the top fabric. I've shrunk it one time. There's two more uh, shrinks to go. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I have the bottom cover to, to do the final shrinkage though. Um, so the next thing to do is, uh, is make those marks where the bottom fabric is gonna overlap the top fabric along the leading edge and along the trailing edge. And then um, I'll put the uh, two coats of thick adhesive on and then we'll uh, We'll put that bottom fabric on. Well, I intended to make some more video of putting this bottom fabric on, but uh, I took a break after Thanksgiving, and then I started back to work yesterday, and I forgot to video yesterday. But uh, here's what we got so far. The, um, the fabric is on the bottom with the perimeter glued down. And let me show you what we got going on here. All right, so uh, you can see this chalk line that I snapped along the leading edge. The bottom fabric comes around and uh, it uh, stops at that chalk line right there and goes all the way down the leading edge. Uh, I still need to um, clean this edge up and glue it down here along, along the butt rib. Done the same thing here along the trailing edge, snapped the chalk line. Uh, took the fabric around the trailing edge, snapped a chalk line on the fabric and trimmed that and then uh, glued it down. So it's glued down along the trailing edge. The fabric comes up onto the bottom end of the aileron bay and it's, it, start, it stops right here along, uh, along this line. And everywhere we, we see these lines where the, where, um, where the overlap stops, there'll be a tape that goes over that at the end. And basically, I'm down to doing this uh, wingtip. I've got to, uh, what I've done so far is I've taken the fabric and I've shrunk, shrunk it quite a bit so that it will lay down uh, around this curve uh, without having uh, wrinkles in the overlap. And I've drawn a line where I'm going to make a cut. So I'm going to take some, uh, some of my thin adhesive and put it on that line. Uh, and that makes it not fray up so bad when I cut it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put the adhesive on along the line. I'm going to I'm going to trim it, and I'm going to glue down this leading edge. We got this edge nice and glued down and uh, just about ready to flip this wing back over. 
I'm taking a closer look here. So uh, really the last little bit here is to flip the wing over and trim up, clean up this edge and glue it down. And then I'm going to uh, shrink that bottom fabric and uh, then we'll start doing some of the doilies that go around the strut fittings and uh, where the jury strut goes and the fuel drain, that sort of stuff. But uh, getting, uh, making progress, getting close. It's time for the uh, the first shrink with the iron on this bottom fabric. Here I'm making the cutouts around the fuel tank drain, the jury strut fittings, and then the larger fittings in the middle of the wing are the main strut attached fittings. Now that I've got the bottom fabric fairly taut and wrinkle free, I'm coming back with a thin coat of the adhesive to fully attach the fabric to this leading edge. All right, well that finishes up the basic fabric application to the uh, top and bottom of the right wing. Uh, we got the fabric is glued down to the structure and it's been shrunk at three different temperatures, finishing up at uh, 350 to 375 degrees, which makes that uh, fabric nice and taut everywhere. Uh, again, the process that I'm using is made by a company called AirTech. They're out of Lone Oak, Arkansas. Um, their website is airtechcoatings.com. Great guys to work with. I'm real pleased with the product so far. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be making some uh, reinforcing patches to go around things like the fuel tank uh, filler cap the fuel tank drain, the wing strut fittings. Uh, and what these patches will do is they'll, they'll clean up the openings and make it make it, the fabric fit nice around these uh, objects. And uh, they also provide some anti-chafe resistance there. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time on Fly With Brian.